Hi you guys, welcome to Alexis Jasmine. Only been a few hours but it felt like days. Only been days but it felt like months. We're gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Look like Tyler Berry But she don't love me, she's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown hey, buddy. <laughs> I don't wanna know but she's too so Dude, I'm, I can't do this no more We're done Bitch, I'm getting hot Bitch, I'm hot, bitch, I'm hot, bitch, I'm hot Sexy Yeah You know what? Let me talk to y'all while I'm doing my hair for real because you know what? So I recently gained. T okay, so boom. You because I don't talk about my fitness with you guys because this is a beauty channel, but I'm gonna talk about it right now with y'all. So I recently gained ten pounds. So boom. Last year, because today is January 7th, 2024, so last year, 2023, um, the month of November, I lost 20 pounds. For the month of November, I lost 20 pounds, and I was like 200, and, well, yeah, I was like 196, teetering on 200, and um, by December, I was 180. So in December, my in December, oh, Mitch, hold on. In December, my goal was um one seventy. Like I wanted to be in the seventies, like one seventy, one seventy something. You know, something along those lines, right? But I ended up meeting this guy, right? I ended up connecting with this guy, and I got distracted. I'm not. I'm not ashamed to admit, I definitely got distracted. And you want to know what's super crazy, right? So I ended up getting like mad distracted with him, right? Like, you know, I'm spending like every day with this dude. But you know, like I'm getting like, you know, like me and him, we really vibe. And I never really vibe with someone like that. And it just reminded me, like I was watching one of my, um, ooh, I was watching one of my, um, video diaries, right? Because I do like all my talking on my video diaries, right? And it was, and it was so crazy because I called it, not with this particular situation, because this particular situation caught me off guard. I didn't even think about it. But God had been talking to me, and it was when you decide to focus on yourself and you like lock in, and it's not just like just, it's not even just like focusing on yourself, but being intentional, right? So this dude came in my life. And it's crazy because I thought he was God sent. And that just that revelation just hit me a couple of days ago. And the revelation of him not being God sent literally hit me a couple like when I mean a couple of days ago, I think it was yesterday. No, no, June. I think it was actually I think it was yesterday morning it, when it hit me, it dawned on me. Because it was, you know, I so for like the month of December, right? I really planned on being like um, super intentional. Like I'm talking about, I had my goals. I had my goals. Like I'm talking about, I had my monthly goal, but I had weekly goals to execute. That was already the foundation was the plan was there. The platform was there. All I had to do was execute, right? Shit you not. For the month of December, I had the videos on deck. Like I had already been recording. I, you know, everything was set up. Like everything was literally set up in their perspective folders, titled. All I had to do was edit these videos, bruh. 
I had written out all the content I wanted to do. I had all of the content written out. Um, the days that they were going to be recorded on. I had the pictures that I wanted. Like, babes, when I tell you, I've never been so organized. Like, dude, I was so organized, bro. Like, so fucking organized. My sister showed me this Trilo, like this little app. I had the pictures. I had the dates. Like, babes, when I tell you, don't play with that girl. She, unfortunately, was one of them. But in that moment, she wasn't one of them. Babes was organized. Planned there platform give it time all i had to do was execute god downloaded me with every single thing bruh and lo and behold this man six three chocolate gem rat pretty smile juicy lips waves on deck i'm talking about seasick big boy i need a big boy i'm talking about lip soft as hell attentive right hold on let me let me record let me let me still do what i'm supposed to be doing but i'm talking about do attentive you know what i'm saying he has great listening skills um mature like all of it and then um like he's everything right like i'm just like oh my god he was sent to me and i'm thinking god like I, I kid you not I'm thinking he's God and he's sent like God really sent me this man because like I said this man is the looks eat down right like the looks eat down but the characteristics do I'm talking about the looks eat down but his characteristics baby that nigga licked the plate clean with them characteristics attentive great listener good at talking calm good head on his shoulder super mature great money management Car career focused he spends his free time reading studying in the gym doesn't have many friends you know i like that like 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 not and it's not it's not on no like he says he doesn't have many friends. We're on the phone. I see his day-to-day -day activities. We're on FaceTime every day. I literally see his day-to-day -day activities. Literally spends all his time. He goes to the lake to like clear his mind. He gets excited by going to the gym and Walmart runs. Babes, tell me, like, that's literally, what? That's, first of all, that's me, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's literally me. The, the, his attributes went stupid, right? Right? So I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely God sent you. Because you know how they be like, the man, your man comes when you are, like, you know you're, you know you are ready to be in a relationship when one, you're focused on yourself, two, you're okay with being alone, three, you're accomplishing and achieving your goals. Bitch, I was doing all of that. Well, and that's the thing, I actually wasn't. I had just planned out everything. I was in the beginning stages of, like, you know, the seed was planted. I was in the beginning stages of, you know, executing the mission. But I was finally okay with being alone. I was finally okay with not having friends. I was finally okay with all of that shit, right? So this man comes, right? And I'm thinking, yeah, he was definitely godly sin. Like, for a fro, God sent. Now, was I like, that's gonna be my husband? Um, no, but I'm also someone, I don't ever look at someone and, you know, I don't give a fuck how great your qualities are. I always attract great men. You know what I'm saying? So, it doesn't matter. It doesn't necessarily matter how great of a qualities you have because I am someone that I know that I attract and I am attracted to great men. It's just, he just kind of caught me super off guard because it was just like all of those attributes and you're fine as fuck and I'm super comfortable with you. And then it was just like, I honestly, I don't know because honestly like, I, the nigga just caught me off guard. Point like period. I was just caught off guard, babes. I just wasn't ready. I just genuinely wasn't, I wasn't fucking ready. I wasn't. But now it's like, okay, you know, I'm like, you know, God sent da da da. Then, and we're hanging out, we're not even with the sex he already said, like he doesn't really care. We have like a great friendship type shit, right? Okay, so boom. Now it's becoming a thing, I'm spending that every night. We're Interesting. Now we're falling in routine. We're moving. First of all, like I said, all of this is happening. All of this happened in the span of a month. All the month of, the whole month of December, that's it, right? So, we're moving fast as 
fuck. And then we fuck around. I don't know when, how the shit happened, but we're now in a routine where I'm sleeping over there every night. And it's becoming like, girlfriend type shit like i can see it. i remember i remember vividly i was like how the fuck did you end up in a situation shit before the year of 2023 end i should you know i remember i asked myself one on my drive home one morning leaving his crib i was like how the fuck did we end up in a situation shit because that's exactly what this is no title having sex cooking breakfast, you know what I'm saying, doing a hot cocoa, um, sleeping together, pajamas, playing games, going on grocery runs together, like, we're baking cookies and shit together, like, we tried to do the matching PJs, but the Walmart didn't have any, and I was not, fin like, I wasn't in the mood to go searching for it, but we're going on Walmart runs, he wants to come with me while I run my errands, like, so I'm like, this is a situation ship. This is a situation ship because we both know we're not friends. We're fully aware we're not friends, but there's no title. And we've already, we already had that, we already had the discussion of, we don't want to really, like, well, let me first say, he didn't want a relationship. I was like, I just was on some like, mm, we're also finna go. I really don't think I want a relationship. Neither, but it's also in the same breath. It's like, so what are you doing this for? So then it was like, but I was having fun. I'm not going to hold you. I was enjoying myself. Like, I was really enjoying the fact that there is someone who I don't mind touching me. Like, there's nothing wrong with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, being with him and seeing how affectionate I am and or how affectionate I can be. Um, because he did say I'm inconsistent. Like, sometimes I'm affectionate, sometimes I'm not. But just, like, being, seeing myself in a in a in a situation seeing myself being able to be affectionate seeing myself being able to be nurturing seeing myself being able to be accommodating i caught myself off guard which made me want to be around him even more because it was like i loved who i was seeing i've never seen myself like that i'm not gonna hold you i'm not gonna hold you i've never seen myself be accommodating to a fucking man I've never seen that side of me. So, you know, being around him and seeing that side of me where I'm like super open, you know what I'm saying? I'm always, you know, I'm like, I'm holding hands with him. Like I didn't got comfortable holding this man's hands. I'm walking around the stores and shit. I'm walking, I'm in public with it, man. You know, and, and he'll make comments like, you don't like public PDA because like, I don't like public display of affection. But like, I don't mind holding hands and then I start liking holding hands. Or like when he's driving, I hold his hand or I, you know, I. I rub, like, you know, I wrap my arms around his arm. Either way, go, I'm touching him while he's driving. Or, like, it'll be like, you know, like, I just like in the house. Like, when we're in his crib, you know, I'm, like, always holding him. I don't really, I don't mind when he holds me, but I love holding him. Like, you know, I like holding him when we're sleeping. Like, all that shit, right? So, I'm, like, seeing that about myself, you know. Um asking him you know if I annoy him like not even on no having an attitude but you know like am I overstaying my welcome you know I've been here for a couple of days be honest with me about career you know what I'm saying like being able to express myself in a mature manner it was like really cool like I really love seeing that side of me because I've never seen my I've never seen myself do some shit like that you know what I'm saying I've never seen myself do no shit like that so it was like super cool to see um so i was just like holy fucking cow right so i'm just like damn like i don't know like i i really did like enjoy seeing that side of me because it was just like i've never seen that side of me before you know what i'm saying like i've never seen that side of me before i've never seen myself be such a loving um accommodating you know i was i felt selfless you know i don't really care what no one else said i personally felt like i was selfless so it was just like seeing myself be like that. I was just like, wow, I'm really hurt for real. And I don't know, it was just like really cool to see. So that's also why I was like, he has to be God sick. Because there's just no way I'm acting like this with just any old regular man. There's just no way. But then it dawned on me, we're having sex. Like, yes, like, yes, I, like, I guess I had the realization we're having sex. But yesterday morning, it really dawned on me we're having sex with no I like no plans for a future we don't we don't even talk about being in a relationship with each other 
You know what I'm saying? Like, we're really out here, you know, engaging in sexual encounters. And there's like no plans for the future. You know, ah! shit. Burn the shit out of me. Let me get my thoughts together. Hold the fuck on. All right. So, yeah, like, it's like we're engaging in these sexual encounters, right? With no plans on the future. We just had to talk about marriage. Dude, don't even, like, he don't really see marriage as a thing. Like, it's cool, but it's not something he cared for. But, like, he was on something like, if his wife, like, if his girl wants that, he wants that. But it's also like he's seen no plans for a future. So, it's like, I had to start asking myself, like, yeah, it's only been a month. So, it's, like, not that big of an issue. It was like, um, it was just all me. Like, just, like, realizing, like, that I ended up, one, I ended up in a situation shit. Like, be fucking for real. That right there was a doozy. Hold on, let me get this shit. Let me focus. you guys enjoy getting um ready with me to go nowhere i might go to the gym but i hope you guys enjoyed um me playing in my makeup me playing with my face me playing in this wig me trying something new welcome to the year of 2024 first video of 2024 i know i look super different i think i'm gonna be bringing in my years blonde i love how i look blonde but Thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Toodles from your fave. Beautiful bad bee.